Thank you for joining me on this Wednesday morning. I hope that you've been with me all week. We're having a good time studying a very important thought from the throne, and that is Christian tenacity. Now, tenacity means to have persistence. It means to, to hold on. It means not to give up or not to give in when opposition comes. Today, I want us you to, to notice a scripture found in the book of Matthew, chapter 15, verses uh, 22 through 28. Now, this is a story about a woman who comes to Jesus, and she has a problem with her family. She has a problem, actually, it's with her daughter. And the Bible said her daughter is vexed with the devil. It's more than just being sick. It's more than just feeling bad. It's more than just having a headache. This woman is having a problem with the devil, and so her mother comes to Jesus, and her mother is saying to Jesus, Jesus, I need you to help me. I need deliverance for my family. And we know the story how uh, Jesus talks to her. And, but what the, what, what the thought is here and what the truth that I want to bring to you today is this woman, even though uh, she was out of character, even though uh, the disciples even uh, didn't want to have anything to do with her, she comes to Jesus and she refuses to give up. She has persistence. She has tenacity. And, she's, and, um, and she says, uh, Jesus, I need your help, and I'm not going anywhere until I get that help. What is, what, is, uh, what is this all about today? We must have tenacity for the deliverance of our family. I know many of us who are Christians, we have family members that are not saved. We have, maybe it's a spouse, maybe it's a child, maybe it's a parent. Maybe it's a, a, a loved one, a, a cousin, or something of that nature, and they are under the influence of Satan, the devil. Well, the way that we're going to get deliverance to them, the way they're going to be delivered, is we as a believer, if we have tenacity when we ask God for their deliverance. So I hope today that you will take this and use this. If you have a family member that's under the influence of the devil, well, no matter what it is, no matter what the sin is, you have tenacity. Hang on. Hang on to God and hang on to Jesus and say, Jesus, I know that you can deliver my loved one and it will come to pass. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.